Okay, everybody, here we are, man. We're back with Jillian Welch, Time, The Revelator, the album, man. This is uh, side two. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, try to attach the review to the end of side two, and fingers crossed that it's all gonna make it up onto YouTube. Failing that, I'll break it into threes, man. And then we'll see if that works. Side one was very good, man. This lady has some excellent talent. She's got this, uh, outworldly kind of appeal and it just kind of takes you you know what i'm saying beautiful voice great harmonies with um the gentleman good musicianship and uh just very very solid uh vocals singing about some really interesting things you know i, I mentioned that she reminds me of uh a little bit of Joni Mitchell, a little bit of Joan Baez, and someone uh, in a comment uh, mentioned uh, perhaps uh, a little bit more on the modern side, a little bit of Jewel as well. So yeah, I can see that too. All right, man. So let's hit this up. Time the Revelator side two. Let's get it. Awesome life, aren't we? That was well done. I was thinking that night about Elvis. Did he die? Did he die? I was thinking that night about Elvis. Did he die? Did he die? Just a country boy that combed his head and put on a shirt his mother made and it went on the air and he shook it like a chorus girl 
Hershiki lucky Harlem Queen Hershiki lucky midnight ramble baby like you never seen like you never seen never seen I was thinking that night about Elvis Dead he died Dead he died I was thinking that night about Elvis Dead he died Dead he died Now I took it all Out of black and white Grabbed it one and the other hand and it held on tight and he shook it like a hurricane. He shook it like to make it break. He shook it like a holy roller, baby, with his soul at stake, with his soul at stake. So let's take I was thinking that night about Elvis Day that he died Day that he died I was thinking that night about Elvis Day that he died Day that he died He was all alone Thinking how happy John Henry was that he fell down dying When he shook it and it rang like silver He shook it and it shined like gold He shook it and it beat that steam drill Baby, well, bless my soul, well, bless my soul it shook it and it beat that steam drill, baby. Well, it bless my soul. What's wrong with me? I was thinking that night about Elvis. Day that he died. Day that he died. I was thinking that night about Elvis. Made and went on the air, and he shook it like a chorus girl. He shook it like a Harlem queen. He shook it like a midnight ramble, baby, like he never seen, never seen. Like you never seen, never seen.
everything is free now That's what they say Everything I ever done Gonna give it away Someone hit the big score They figured it out That we're gonna do it anyway Even if it doesn't pay
the staggers and the jays. I dream of her way back to you. Oh, I dream of her way back to you, love. Hey, what? dream 
sustain us through the winter fades away wow so that concludes side two of time the revelator quite an album definitely an excellent excellent album and that last track I dream a highway that stands out all on its own in a way you know I see myself listening to it every once in a while and just going in drifting now correct me if I'm wrong is she not singing about the grand old days is she not singing about the great days of the great pioneers of her genre of music being the folk and the country scene uh, she mentioned the grand old Opry she mentioned Amy Lou and um, uh, I, I, someone else in there that is a figure uh, and a staple of country music. I think she's singing about the how it was, the great times and the great uh, creativeness and the, all of the uh, stuff back in the day. I call it the creative renaissance, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. I think that's what that song is about. Fantastic. But the whole album, uh, of course, is really, really good, man. Uh, April 14th and then uh, part two solid fantastic uh, pieces of work man this lady is really really skilled and the gent uh, sorry I can't remember the gent's name that's her partner uh, really really skilled and excellent duo man great great harmony excellent musicianship 
Her voice is crisp, clear, the tone is solid, man. I could listen to her sing all day. Could you imagine being married to someone like that? I'm telling you, heaven on earth, boy. So, um, let's do this, man. Let's uh, do a review. Now, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter review. Um, because this last track was like almost 15 minutes long, man. I typically don't like sitting through one particular song uh, that long. Um, you know, but it's wrapped up with the rest of the album. So I guess overall, it's about 30 minutes of sitting. It's still a touch on the long side for my taste. I like songs that are a little bit shorter than 10 minutes a piece. But, you know, what can you do? It is what it is sometimes. Um, as long as I don't do it too often, it's all good. Yeah, man. So, um, let's do, uh, a short review here, man, on Gillian Welch and, um, The Revelator. And then, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to attach the review to part two, see if it makes it up on the YouTube, fingers crossed, and then we'll go from there, man. So, time, The Revelator is the third studio album by American singer-songwriter Gillian Welch. Uh, all songs were written by Welch together with David Rollins and were recorded at RCA Studio B in Nashville, with the exception of I Want to Sing That Rock and Roll, which was recorded live at the Ryman Auditorium as part of the sessions for the concert film Down From The Mountain. Recording. Welch set of recording, Revelator, Welsh said of recording Revelator, it was a mic test, the version on the record. Dave just said, play Re Revelator, and it was okay. Let's try it, and we used the mic test. Rawlings added, we played it once, and it was great, because we hadn't played it in months. We got that first take feeling. According to Rawlings, I Dream a Highway had never been played before it was recorded. So we played it twice and I edited both versions together. But I wanted that because I knew it was a minor song that had. There was a lot that could have happened with the harmonies and the guitar playing them. We, sorry, let me try that again. Okay, that's where the break should be. There was a lot that could happen with the harmonies and the guitar playing than if we had done it a lot of times. So we could just travel through a lot more of it than if we knew where we were supposed to start and where we were supposed to end." Unquote. Sorry about that choppy reading, man. I had to figure out where the commas were, would be. <laughs> Critical reception. Welsh and Rollins received a great deal of recognition for their work on time. The album received many award nominations and was included on many Best Album of the Year lists by critics. It has since been included on a number of best all-time lists. The album was ranked 64 on Rolling Stone magazine's list of the 100 greatest albums of the decade. In 2009, the album was ranked number 7 on Past's, on Paste's The 50 Best Albums of the Decade's list. It was also included in the book 1001 Albums You Must Hear Before You Die. Hmm. Awards. Welch and Rollins received four nominations at the first annual awards for the Americana Music Association in 2002. Time the Revelator was nominated for Album of the Year, and I Want to Sing That Rock and Roll was nominated for Song of the Year. Welch and Rollins together were nominated for Artist of the Year, while Rollins was nominated for Instrumentalist of the Year. The album was also nominated for Best Contemporary Folk Album at the 2002 Grammy Awards, which went to Bob Dylan's Love and Theft. Okay, and so that is Wikipedia Song Fact Info on this really excellent album. And man, quite a lot of accomplishments, lots of accolades there. All of these nominations for awards and stuff and even for their um, artistry and their musicianship. Yeah, man, a solid, solid duo, absolutely. Great harmonies. Uh, I wonder how many albums they've actually done. I believe this to be the third. 
and they've been around since the early 2000s so um, they could have uh, as many as 10 even uh, more than that sorry let me just turn this a little bit I'm almost out of frame yeah man so uh, yeah, great great uh, great duo both of them uh, really make each other complement and complete each other for sure so let me just scroll down here and check my notes before I bounce right I got a uh, Quads coming up for Vernon, Devoid Zero, Robert, Ronaldino, Allen. Got quads coming up real quick. Uh, forgive me, patrons. I'm still running about a week behind on both platforms. A week and a few days now. Um, I didn't get as much done on the weekend as I wanted to where reactions were concerned. Uh, productive in every other way with the exception of uh, my reactions. But I'm hoping to get back on that. So please, please, pretty please. Some of you, you're always the same cats. Do not pester me. I don't know why people feel they have to pester. It's kind of like when you're on the road and some people feel that they need to tailgate. Uh, it doesn't make sense in the world. Why tailgate? You know what I'm saying? Why pester? You know the shit's coming. You know I got you. Don't pester me, all right? Please. All right. So, uh, yeah, man. So those are my notes. And... Um, those are what I've got coming up. I'm really looking forward to hitting uh, a Bee Gees quad. Um, it's already uh, a week, almost a week into the new month. And I was hoping that my uh, subscriber, she's in the Navy, uh, that she would have been back uh, off of deployment. But, you know, I mean, you can't always have pinpoint accuracy where it comes to days and times. She said that she was going to be back uh, at the end of September. So hopefully um, everything is well with her and she's just delayed and you know it isn't anything other than that. But I'm really looking forward to hearing from her and uh, getting that quad for the Bee Gees. I'm really looking forward to what her, not the Bee Gees, I'm sorry, Casey and the Sunshine Band. I'd already done the Bee Gees quad. Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting from her what in her mind is her um, favorite uh, Casey and the Sunshine Band songs. That'd be really cool. All right, so, uh, and now of course, I'm not going to disclose her name. I didn't actually ask permission yet uh, from her if she wants her name out there. So that's why I'm mentioning her in the third person. All right, man. So I am going to bounce. Thanks very much for joining me, everyone. Hope you like this reaction. Uh, apologies. The last song was a little bit long. It was good, but long. And um, note to Jack and everyone else, please, please, please. Try to uh, send me stuff, even if it's in the body of an album reaction of parts. I don't like to sit through songs that are longer than 10 minutes long, especially when they're grouped and coupled together with other songs. Uh, you know, it just becomes a little bit hard. You know what I'm saying? And when I am doing a shit ton of reactions, you know, you might not think that, ah, just what's a couple of minutes? Well, it's a big deal to me if I'm doing a lot of reactions. So please consider that down the road. All right, man. So that is my uh, reaction to this excellent artist. Well, both of them, excellent artists, Julian Welsh and David Rollins. And I would definitely like to check out what else they've got in the shoot. And I'm betting that they've probably got maybe 10 albums and more. That'd be really interesting to check out their uh, chronology. Anyways, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Take care. And I'll catch you in another reaction. Peace.